today you're going to get a 12 minute analysis which is going to break down to you show you exactly why i think we're going to head down to 26k and lower and why that was not the bottom i'm going to show you why i have such high conviction and confidence in that and why to me it's not really a question or a matter of if it's really just a matter of when we go down there so watch this full video to get a full understanding why i'm so confident we're heading back down Hey guys, welcome back. My eyes are on this rising wedge pattern we see here in Bitcoin. Okay, for all you newbies out there, it's a it's a pattern that happens after a dump. Okay, then you kind of bounce up before you continue lower. That's what I see happening here in Bitcoin. And so you can see that right. You have the big dump. Okay, and then what it's called a rising trend correction into back into the downtrend. Now. Okay, I want to show you something, guys. What I want to actually show you is the last time we saw this pattern, and it actually happened just a few weeks ago. I remember it vividly. It was right here. Okay, you can see you have this massive dump into a rising trend correction into a dump and continuation lower. Okay, so you can see this one's actually just a larger rising wedge here. Okay, you can see they're like, uh, here's the little brother, and then the big brother is really setting up to pick on Bitcoin here, I think. Uh, but it could take a little longer, right? It's a bigger pattern this time than it was last time. Okay, this time uh, over here, it took only uh, s uh, two days, and it was a 7% rising trend correction. Well, here, you can already see we've been in this pattern now for four days, and it's already, actually, if you measure from the, the bottom here, uh, a 13 14% move. So this is literally two times bigger in magnitude than this one here. And so... These are obviously major support and resistance uh, levels to be watching right now because if you can actually break out above this, it's a pretty good sign for Bitcoin, right? But I don't think we will break out above this and uh, you know, I'm not hopeful for Bitcoin right now. I do believe when you come out of a bottom, you soar out of a bottom and I'll give you an example here and I've said this so many times on my channel, but you know, back here, okay, when it was the bottom, you soared out of the bottom and you did not stop okay price soars out of bottoms okay this is not soaring price action right when we hit the bottom here price soared and it, it's very hard to get price to stop moving you know it just keeps going okay that is a sign of a bottom is raging price action coming out of it this is not raging price action coming out of what some people would say is the bottom okay it's actually very weak uh, in, in, in really not good price action coming out of what you would want to see of a typical bottom, right? So that's why I'm very confident 26K is not the bottom. We will head lower in my opinion. I'm so, so confident in that. And that's not overconfidence or anything. That's just based on the charts and what I know from the past and, you know, playing this market all the time. That's kind of, I'm just very confident in that. So you have rising wedge. You have weak volume on the buy side, which indicates to us that this is very likely not a bottom. And so I do believe the correction to the downside here is pretty much inevitable. It's just the timing. Okay, when exactly are we going to make that move lower and down and break down, right? Well, I want to go back and I want to study this last mega dump here down to 47K, which remember, we did call that mega dump. Okay, and so what I want to do is go out to the daily time frame and just show you that last time we had this mega dump three days up three days down what do you notice so far mega dump three days up one day down so far and so so far this mega dump pattern is repeating exactly like the candles they're pretty much the exact same so you would think okay maybe we're gonna get three days down here I don't necessarily think that's the way you want to be looking at it but what I do want to do is take a projection here okay and just kind of show you uh, if we copy this pattern here from that the mega dump, okay, what that would kind of look like right now. So what I could also see here is us doing a fake little breakdown below the falling wedge. And then actually you can see how that lines up, guys. That's pretty damn cool, don't you think? Look at this. So you can see that projection we just took actually comes and retests the support of that uh, rising wedge as resistance before falling and making that break lower down to 25k that is pretty cool guys right and so you also saw back in this other falling wedge here a th a three weeks ago which i remember uh you know once again this this just happened three weeks ago right and so you can actually see here if you zoom in 
um, it did this fake little breakout, a fake, fake little breakdown, uh, came back in, then uh, went down. So you know, just because you start breaking down through the falling wedge does not mean it's it's the end uh, right away. Here we saw it come back in, retest the high, uh, you know, the the resistance off the top end of the uh, the wedge, and then fall. Okay. So yeah, just I just want to point that out. Just because you're falling through support does not mean it's instantly over. So once again, what that could look like is like that. Okay, pretty cool stuff. So I also want to show you just the time frame here. You can see price is slowing down, right? And so you should also notice price slowed down over here, and it slowed down for quite a bit of time. It slowed down from that mega dump candle. It took us 23 days before we continued our descent lower. And so it, you know, price does feel very similar right now as it did over here. It's slowing, it's getting boring, it's not making any moves, it's hard to make money in this very choppy uh, sideways movement. And so you can see overall, I find this to be very, very similar to the 47K dump here. And that's why, well, what do you know about the 47K dump? Not only did we revisit that wick low, okay, we also broke through and went, went much lower, okay? We went right here, 24% lower, or if you want to get real ugly, we went 40% lower. Okay, so if we did that again, okay, let's say 24% lower after we break that wick right there, what is that? 19K, right below uh, 20K. Okay, so let's mark that down as a target. And I also want to, right here, uh, measure 40% dump, I guess, until the next mega dump, okay, I guess, 40% here. Uh, would would bring us down to uh, 14k okay so pretty cool stuff guys I hope you kind of see what I'm seeing I'm not saying we were are guaranteed to get to 14k or 19k all I'm saying is I'm just I'm just analyzing and putting uh, this picture in front of you and just showing you you know why I think it's so similar to the 47k dump that we called it's funny we called both of these dumps guys and you know when I say that we truly call those dumps, you know, not saying it could go up, down, sideways, inwards, outwards. No, like you can go back and watch the video. I'll link it here. When we were at 57K, I said, I think we're about to drop to 47K. And then here uh, we call this dump. I said, everyone thinks we're going to uh, 50K next, right? Uh, and <laughs> you guys can see my Twitter, the, the tweet I posted telling people to suck my, you know, let's not get into it right now. Uh, and that the mega dump through support was coming. And sure enough, I nailed it. So it's funny. Two of the biggest and ballsiest predictions of the year during this crash, we called both of them. And that's why this channel is called Crash Trading, guys. Even I have to say I'm a little surprised to have called both of those uh, literally the day before they happened. Okay, I kid you not. We called this dump the day before it happened, and we called uh, this dump on that candle the day before it happened. Now, obviously, you guys know we shorted here, and we made $100,000 on this drop. And over here, that is when we did not have the Telegram alerts yet. So if you're not in the Telegram alerts, guys, it's the first link down below this video where I send you entries and stop losses on the trades that I'm taking. For example, this Bitcoin long we took yesterday, I alerted everyone, okay, with our entries and our stop loss, okay? Then I send out a picture of, you know, what I think price is going to look like, and we end up closing out the trade for about a $4,000 profit. So you can see it's pretty simple. Entries, exits, stop loss. And uh, I show you that whole process. That is the Telegram alerts if you're not in it. First link down below. And that is my short and sweet analysis today on why I do believe we're going to head back down to 25K wick low. And I think there's over an 80% probability we're not going to stop there. Okay. And we will actually break through and lower. So those are the targets that my eyes are set on, 19 and 14, or 19 and 15K. But overall, if you uh, believe in crypto, then I think none of us can really complain about these prices down here. They're all good. At the end of the day, uh, are you going to care if you bought at 22K? Are you going to care if you bought at 14K? Yeah, you won't like it in the short term, but, you know, Eventually, it's not going to really matter that much, all right? But, you know, you should still try to be as efficient and effective as possible. At the end of the day, what I tell people is, look, okay, we've been sitting in cash for a long time on this channel. And so, you know, a lot of people were thinking about buying at 47K. A lot of people were thinking about buying this first dip at 57K. And so now I just tell people, look, okay, you don't have to time the exact bottom, okay? Most people already bought up here, up here, up here. So just be happy and uh, you just realize 
you've done a good job already. If you made it to this point and you've been in cash like I have uh, on this channel, which you know I've told you guys that on Twitter and on YouTube, and I've updated you all the way through this crash. And once again, that's why this channel is called Crash Training. So if you enjoyed the analysis, drop a like. Make sure you are subscribed. Now, exciting news, a fellow crash trader that I've known for two years now is going to be joining me in making awesome videos like this here in the future. So here's an introduction. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Martin here. I'm excited to start working with Alex to create some awesome videos for you guys. We have several projects already lined up. Um, you're probably wondering, who the hell is this guy or where I got this awesome crash trading shirt? If you've been following the channel for a little while, you might have seen me in some option trading videos or even the student review video on the crash trading website. You know, I've gained so much from this channel and this is my opportunity to give back. Uh, just two years ago, I started day trading to pick up a side hustle to help pay for my own wedding. And not only did I pay for my wedding, but my wife and I got to plan our dream wedding um, with our friends and family. Like check this video out of me dancing my ass off, living life to the absolute fullest. And here's a picture of us landing in a helicopter for our grand entrance. It was pretty epic and I'll never forget it. So you'll see me occasionally post videos on this channel. I plan to start out by sharing tips and strategies that help me become an independent day trader. Um, overall, I think it's pretty badass in finding your own plays, setting them up, uh, being confident in what you do, and most importantly, bringing in those profits. Um, so make sure to stay tuned for those videos. Shout out to Alex for always keeping it real. Um, and if you haven't already done so, make sure to tap the like button um, just to help support the channel. Uh, until next time, this is Martin with Crash Trading. I'll see you in the next video. So fun fact and story about Martin, one of the first crash trading members ever, one of the first people to ever take the crash trading charts course about two years ago. And guess how it happened, guys. So two years ago, I posted a free YouTube video telling everyone to short NVAX after earnings. Martin did exactly that and he made $4,000 on a free video I posted on my YouTube channel. After that, that started all off. He took the course, he joined the Crash Trading Club, which at the time was for our options day trading. Obviously now you guys know we're crypto trading, right? So, you know, at the time we were trading options, now we're trading crypto, but you know, that's how it started. He, he literally watched a free YouTube video on my channel, made $4,000, invested it back into the channel. And here he is now, a prime example of what it means to be a crash trader, a self-sufficient, independent, and successful trader who trades on their own schedule. And at this point, Martin's gotten so good that he doesn't need my alerts. He doesn't need to ever watch my channel again. Okay, And that's really the goal of this channel is to make it so you get so good that you never even have to watch my channel again. And he's a prime example of that. You know what I mean? So I'm super excited to have him on board. So be on the lookout for some of Martin's upcoming videos. The first video he's got coming for you guys is actually a bearish divergence stock scanner. So you like run the scanner in the morning and it's going to tell you the best shorting opportunities and it takes you like one minute to scan the entire stock market and find the best opportunities. So that's a pretty cool video if you're into stocks and trading options. So don't miss that video. Okay, we're going to try to see, you know, what videos you guys want to see, uh, you know, on top of what I'm already posting. Uh, we're going to try to make more for you guys um, and just add more value uh, to what you're already getting. So, guys, thanks so much for watching. Look forward to some of these videos. And, of course, if you're not in the Crash Alerts, first link down below to join. Um, and let's make some money, guys. Take care. Bye.